8,830 pounds. Big ol', uh, probably 35 to 37 foot. I haven't looked at the hard specs. Outback, triple slide, what I refer to as a flat deck fifth wheel, came in on trade here at Halet RV. And this is nuts. So these are previous Halet RV customers. They originally purchased a Rockwood RV from us. About 10 minutes later, not literal time, but very shortly after decided they did not like that camper. And they brought it back here to trade it in for a different Rockwood that they saw on our website. But literally as they were pulling in, and this is no exaggeration, the camper they wanted to purchase was rolling out. Someone else had already purchased it and were taking it home at the very same time. Um, well, they didn't want to wait. And we didn't offer the type of camper they were looking for. We didn't have another copy of it anyway, and they wanted something now. So they went elsewhere and purchased this Outback, which is fine. I don't blame them for that. They gave us a sh shot, and we didn't have it. Well, shortly after they bought this and used it only a few times, they went on like a, a five-month like world tour traveling trip, came back and looked at it and went, uh, there's things about this that we would like to be different. And then they saw that we had an almost identical floor plan in a Jayco Eagle that was executed more to their preferences and liking. So they swapped this out for a nearly identical Jayco Eagle. So what you're looking at is a one owner, not used, mostly stored, and only needs a hose bath and a surface dusting, a uh, big triple slide couples camper. Quick peek in the door before we get too far along. With those slides closed and this nice little entry bureau right here, you're not going to get to too much um, other than the bathroom and the bedroom. Uh, however, big triple slide flat deck fifth wheel style campers like this, they're really made for destination use and not travel use anyway. Now I refer to this as a flat deck fifth wheel because they make fifth wheels with the same floor plan like a Cougar 338 RLK or Eagle 317 RLOK, but this is a travel trailer. And, um, you know, that's why I refer to it as a flat deck fifth wheel. Very good for park use, by the way. Is it fully towable? Of course. But a big floor plan in a trailer like this is a little unwieldy for towing. Even though the weight might be within half ton capacity, because of the length and the size, it's probably better handled by a three quarter ton. Or let us simply deliver it to a site and park it for you. That works too. We do that all the time, by the way. It doesn't matter if you're close or far. We can do that. Um, so... What are we looking at here? This is a cousin to the Keystone Cougar that we would carry in a, in a, a non-outside kitchen version of this floor plan in the Cougar trailers would be a 32RLI. The Eagle version that they purchased was called a 322RLOK. And um, there's many, many similar things out there. Now, one quick note is these chairs right here. These are not the original chairs from this RV. These are uh, actual Lazy Boy rocking leather recliners that came out of the original Rockwood RV that these folks purchased. And these have never been used as far as I can tell. I, I certainly don't see any sort of like seating wear and tear. If they have been used, they haven't been used a lot. And they've been used so little that the uh, original tags from Lazy Boy are still hanging on those things. So that is an upgraded seating arrangement from what you would normally find in here. Now, uh, behind them is a nice big breeze window, and you've got all LED lights going on in here, and the vaulted ceiling helps open this thing up to really give you that extra nice big breathing space. Now, the lighting in here is somewhat minimal, but it's just enough. It really rides that line where it's okay. Um, and there's extra lights I still don't have turned on, so maybe that maybe that's why I feel that way. Um, but overall, it's, it's not bad. It has a big open airy feeling, and all the windows help. Now this sofa is different. This is not the traditional trifold sofa you expect to find in most RVs. It's more of what's called a gaucho style. The bottom slides open and then the seating sort of uh, folds down atop of that. What is nice though is you have those side stands with power outlets on both sides of that thing. Now electric space heating fireplace can be used for visuals or for heating without burning up your propane. And the outside kitchen's located behind your entertainment center here. That's why it kind of looks, maybe feels a little blocky inside, but it gives you that campsite function outside. And obviously our TV can tilt around for easy, easy viewing here. Now you still have good windows on the door side. And you know, all you do compared to something like the Cougar 32 RLI is take the entertainment center and your seating and flip flop them. It's the same camper, just arranged in two different ways. And that's how you make a floor plan, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, freestanding table and chairs here. It does open with an extension leaf and your uh, uh, you know seating side 
window here in your dining area will open for air. This does have an open feeling vaulted ceiling as is pretty common among uh, almost anything Keystone laminated and uh, with these coming fall updates it actually will be I think found on everything Keystone laminated. Um, in the kitchen area here in your island and in the main cooking center we do have solid surface countertops and there is a very respectable amount of storage going on in that little corner over there. So starting in the rear facing area you've got this big full overhead uh, cabinet kind of pantry-ish situation going on here. Um, as we come down below I like how you've got easy reach power outlets. This is going to be ideal appliance central or phone charger central right here um, for a couple reasons. One, it actually does have USB plugs above the light switch there. But two, appliances keep coming with shorter and shorter cords. Have you noticed that? I sure have. So having outlets here where they're easy to reach is nice. Whereas um, a lot of people go, why is it whenever the trailer has smooth skin, the outlets are always mounted under the cabinets? And the answer is because it's hard to install a wall or an outlet in a laminated wall. That's not a laminated wall. Very easy to run wiring there, which is going to help you out with appliance time. Now, a couple drawers here, and they did a good job of uh, kind of hiding the converter panel a little bit here so that you, uh, if the grandkids come through, they're not inclined to kind of pop that open and play with your fuse box. Eight cubic foot gas electric fridge freezer. That was one of the reasons they did swap to the Eagle was a bigger fridge that's available in the Eagles that you physically can't put in and out back here. Um... And I like that they didn't waste space above the uh, kitchen area there with another, uh, with a dedicated real pantry, uh, you know, between the kitchen and seating areas. And I like that bonus door at the bottom. And here's why. So that you don't have to get on your hands and knees and go digging for the storage. The storage comes to you. Now, uh, uh, four additional drawers over here. So we've got eight drawers uh, dedicated in the uh, kitchen so far. And up top, this it looks kind of funky, but it's super effective, is this high-rise pull-out sprayer faucet with that fitted sink cover below. If we slip that cover off real quick, you get to see the stone cast sink below. Stone cast is a cool material. It's rated for up to 500 degrees, so you can literally pour boiling water in it. Now, if you've been paying attention, you've noticed you haven't seen a microwave yet. It's in a very unconventional location here, actually mounted against the island face, which, while weird, actually kind of cool. I, I sort of like it down there. I like low mounted microwaves, but that's me personally. And a nice space for a wastebasket below the sink kind of polishes the kitchen off here. Now moving forward, uh, before we get to the bathroom, I want to talk about something that's very cool. And you'll hear us talk a lot about this on our Keystone Fusions, the Legacy Montanas, and anything Keystone Cougar is the in-command system here. Basically guys, this has a... Uh, a digital brain built into the camper and what's nice is you don't even need to mess with the passcode and stuff to like be able to activate your main cabin lighting and anything that you can do on this panel let's see if it's they I haven't checked to see if they reprogrammed it default code yes default code of four zeros and we're in business ladies and gentlemen but you can control so much stuff on this camper right here your slides your awnings uh, lighting and there's more things you can actually program it to kind of show you what you want and what you don't want including the different holding tank things or like batteries turn on your inside outside lights your water heater water pump control all that here so what's neat is if you can control it there you can control it here because anything you can do on in command you can also do right off your phone your the the free app that they offer um, will uh, allow you to, to basically anywhere you go, uh, not to sound cheesy, but you're in command. That's ugh, ugh. Anyway, you get the idea. So over here in the bathroom, dual entry bath. Obviously you can get to it from the bedroom there or from the hallway as I just did. And they're using a nice LED uh, pancake style light here. What's cool about it though, is if you want to use one or both lights, you can have as much or as little light as you like in these things. That's a old school classic feature you just don't see utilized a lot nowadays. Now the vaulted ceiling plus that skylight will give you some very nice room in the shower and the radius on that will give you plenty of elbow room. And then we come over here and this has a very good amount of linen storage right here in this bathroom. So uh, you can keep plenty of towels, your beach towels, your extra shampoos, toiletries, etc. right in here and not have to do that run around the camper trying to dig through cabinets to get to things. Now when we come in here in the bedroom, quick thing, this is a king bed. It's a camp king. It's a 74 long 
by 70 wide near square king. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. And here's the kind of the cool thing. A lot of people go, well, like me, I'm 6'3", 6'2", 6'3", whatever. If I lay stiff as a board, straight as an arrow on this thing, my feet are going to hang off the end of it. However, that's not how most people sleep. Most people don't sleep like they're laying in a casket. Most people sleep somewhat curled up and somewhat on an angle. So the wider nature of this bed still makes it fairly tall person friendly, even for a person like me. And frankly, guys, if you don't care, if you're like, I don't care, I want the longer bed, Put the longer king in here. There's more than enough room to do so. Now, there is storage under the bed. You can get, uh, there's actually two separate sections, one inside, one outside, with additional storage above the bed there. And I love that they mirrored those doors to make the bedroom look and feel bigger. Of course, those cross breeze windows in that deep bedroom slide don't hurt either. So we've got a nice, this is very much actually like uh, an Outback or a, a Cougar fifth wheel bedroom in that you've got a dedicated closet and then you've got an additional closet section over here which could accommodate a combo washer dryer. And that's something a lot of people like to find in a travel trailer because some people are like, listen, I like the features of a fifth wheel, but maybe I'm getting older or I've had a I've got a bad knee, like I've actually got a knee that's kind of aching me right now. And um, I don't want to climb up and down stairs in a fifth wheel all day. Well, you don't have to here. It is ready for a bedroom TV, and this is 50 amp service with the capacity to add a second air if you are so inclined. Then, Out here, it could use maybe just a little bit of a hose bath. It's, again, been mostly in storage for a while. And, uh, you know, they weren't too worried about it because the new RV that they purchased, we cleaned for them. Um, wouldn't have offended me if it was cleaned up a little bit, but neither here nor there, it is what it is. Outside, we've got uh, sleek looking frameless windows uh, on your slide, uh, on your side walls. Your slide side walls will be sliding uh, windows, obviously, for airflow. Now, this is not a full pass through storage. You've got a section of storage here, and then you have uh, storage space under the uh, master bed on the other side. Couple things though. You've got easy access to your battery disconnect and that black box right there is your in-command brain. Now what's cool here is it gives you easy access to all the wiring of the RV as like a central center effectively. And Keystone was the first towable RV manufacturer to fully color code all their lines, being a very large Keystone uh, dealer. I'm very familiar with what they do here. Um, I also like the, the lower black part of that cap is like a spray-on sort of uh, bed liner stone guard. It is rugged as crap. It is heavy duty man. You've got a full, it's called an automatic stabilizer system on this. It is not auto leveling. You still use the tongue jack to level out and then you push the button and all the jacks will come down to make proper ground contact. So it's just, it is one step closer to easy. Um, good look at the storage under the master bed right there. And you might notice how your baggage doors flip up and hold back with nice little magnet latches. The underbelly of this doesn't have any special insulation quality to it. Um, this, although there's a fun sticker on the side. It's like, you made for cold camping. Well, uh, it's made for what you call extended season camping. It has an enclosed underbelly with a 30,000 BTU furnace, which is awesome. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just not a so one of these specific... It, well, that was another thing that the Eagle does that this doesn't. Eagle has an actual um, zero degree tested proven insulation package. This in theory could do it, but no one's ever tested it. Um, the ladder on the back you see folds to get you up to that full walk on roofing because you've got the cargo tray on the back right here and that's going to be super handy for folks who like to bring bikes with them. And what is, this is interesting. Oh, our power hookup is actually down here. I thought it was like some weird extra plug that they had. I'm not used to seeing it on a location like that. My eyeballs just sort of tuned into it. Sorry about that. Saw something goofy, and if it was going to be oddball, I wanted you guys to know. I guess it is kind of oddball, but there's nothing wrong with it. It is factory work. But here's what's kind of cool about this one. We get a full outside kitchen with a, a large fridge and TV hookups and good drawer space and cabinet space and a weather-resistant galvanized rolled steel countertop here in a couple's rig. And that's not something that you find every day. But they must have really liked it because they just bought an Eagle version <laughs> of this floor plan. And although this roof could use a quick cleaning, like I said, it needs a hose bath. Although a lot of campers this time of year you could say the same thing because they've been out all summer. But this roof... This is extremely solid 
feeling when you walk on it's one of the things i've it's got the same roof structure as the cougars that we carry feels very solid all the original factory seals still present and looked very good um it wasn't like left to rot out in arizona with no um you know attention paid to the uh seals or anything like that it was just parked under a tree and obviously needs to get broomed off a little bit that's about it guys it needs a bath and it needs a new home those are the only two things this camper needs <laughs> so give us a call we can accomplish both those things for you if you give us the opportunity 800-256-5196 Haylet rv of coldwater michigan take care stay safe have fun and happy camping everyone